Now, there's two kinds of color that you'll want to focus on. And first is local color, and the second is reflective color. Uh, local color is uh, the actual color of an object, like the color of this shirt is pretty obviously some form of blue. Now, when you get into flesh tones, it becomes more complicated, but the same is true of anything, that it reflects color from other things. And flesh does it a little more than other things. So that you'll get all kinds of tones. The tone of this blue is reflecting into my face, and the tone of her garment is reflecting in her face, the color of the floor, the color of the wall. All that goes into um, flesh tones, and to a degree, to the fabric as well. So you want to pay attention to both kinds of color. Um, you can bring out all kinds of nuance with uh, reflective color. At the same time, you can use color for symbolic value. For instance, all the green in here at the moment has great symbolic value um, when applied to a flesh tone. But you know, as the painting develops, we'll see how much of that we leave in, how much we take out, and where we push this color spectrum to.